Thank you. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters. Welcome, guest, and especially you, Adet. I am going to take what you said to heart, and I'm going to embrace the lectern. And yes, I will be referring to notes, so you know that your argument has certainly persuaded me to join the side of the note referrer. I don't know if that's a word. <laughs> We'll hear about it in the grammarian's report, I'm sure. Uh, so moving right along, I'm going to use uh, target speak tonight because I think it's appropriate for the type of speech that you delivered to us, and that is we talk at target of wins and offs, and I'm going to highlight a few wins in your speeches or things that really impressed me. First off, I'm always looking for that hook that's going to draw me in. And you had a perfect one using Shakespeare's to be or not to be, perhaps the most famous rhetorical device ever devised. You used it to draw us in, and that intrigued me right from the start. I was also listening, and I heard some oohs and ahs when you actually used that as your hook. So I think your hook was very strong and really set a nice tone for the speech that followed. So excellent job. You did something that I am still struggling with as a Toastmaster, and that is embracing the silence. Some of that silence, you were trying to kind of collect your thoughts, and it's very easy as a Toastmaster to start the ums and ahs, the rambling. You didn't do that. You just calmly sat there, collected yourself, and spoke again. And I think that takes tremendous skill. And for you to be showing that skill on your sixth speech is really a... a a thing that should be highlighted. So thank you for doing that. And finally, I liked the emphasis you put around the uh, topic of strive not to use notes. The, the emphasis on the words to really make the point, and I think if memory serves, you hit that point a few times with the, again, added emphasis, which was great. Your op, and again, I'll put this out there, you have to speak in a voice that's comfortable for you. I may have taken the hook and done a theatrical voice with it. So maybe you would say, to use notes or not to use notes. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the question. That may have added some punch to your actual opening. And then you could have gone back to that as, um, which you refer back to your hook at the end of the speech. You could have, again, gone back to that vocal variety. In terms of your biggest win, I think your biggest win was never letting them see you sweat. So although you were trying to collect your thoughts, you used humor, you referred Chandra to, oh, I just used a filler word to kind of give you some time to collect your thoughts again. And the biggest thing is you didn't apologize. You didn't say, I'm sorry. And a lot of speakers do that, and what ends up happening is it undermines their credibility to the audience, and you resisted that temptation, so kudos to you. So, your biggest, your, your, sorry, your wins would be the nice hook, the striving not to use notes, embracing the silence, ops, maybe do the theatrical voice at the start, and the biggest win was never letting them see you sweat. Great job. Thank you.